a bunch of fucking Karens are complaining oh, about yeah. the fest um, festival. How long has that festival been there? Uh, Download's been going for many years. Before Download, it was Monsters of Rock, and it was go like it's been there for decades. Like. Hang on, Metallica to, is doing a concert at a show called Download? Who would be like, oh, you're going to that festival. I went there when I was a teenager. Yeah, like, it's literally been going 20 years now. Yes. Probably more than that. Download's been going 20 years. Monsters of Rock was before yeah. they rebranded re it to Download. There might have been yeah. a slight gap, but it's it's always been there. Mm -hmm. On top of that, it's, it's on a racetrack. The neighbor's an airport. I'm pretty sure I heard similar things happen with Glastonbury Festival with people complaining. Yeah. I moved to Glastonbury and then they had a festival there. It was awful. Festival has been going since before the Romans arrived. <laughs> <laughs> that explains the part of how small. <laughs> so one whiny cow, a whole eight miles away, said, is someone living out their rock and roll dreams on the back end? Yes, shut up. Fucking metallic of rock and roll dreams. Jesus Christ. So Derbyshire, like, what? How can you like? You're not that unaware that you don't know when living within eight miles of Download that Download is nearby to you. It okay. is like uh, well, I, 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 I actually have a friend who's his his mother practically lives in in the festival grounds. Like she's that close, and uh, he was like, I, I used to love going to visit her because I basically got free concert every year. <laughs> And I sent it to him, and apparently his mum is now, I think she's on the council, it's just something to do with the council now. And uh, apparently they they built a whole bunch of new houses, and now people have moved into those houses and now constantly complain to the council about the noise from the airport, the racetrack, and the festivals. And it's like, did you not even do the tiniest bit of research? Before you bought this house? No, of course not. No, no, they didn't. No, they just looked at the price and the amenities. Mm, and yeah. I mean, thought, there oh, is. This is great. We should move there. There is something to be said about planning of housing and planning of reduction of noise for residents. But if you build houses near to a location where there is going to be loud noises, you're going to get loud noises. It's like if you put a fucking housing estate next to a farm that's active. Yeah. You're going to get shit smell. You can't help that. That's what a fucking farm yes, does. Yes, and those houses normally cost less. So people who are more concerned about money than whining can have a cheap house. Uh, yeah, there's no such thing in Britain. Mm, yeah. Million fucking dollars in on the runway at the airport. Uh, <laughs> so one of the wine, uh, whiny cows on uh, Facebook said, this is ridiculous. The festival is six miles away and the thing is unreal and still a working day tomorrow. I don't know why Karen is now Indian. Indian. <laughs> because because just, everything goes because, Indian when you do a voice. Because I was because I spent an hour. Shit. I, I spent we spent hours yesterday mocking them for not being able to shit properly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See, I told you he has to go take a massive poo, so <laughs> he, he's channeling his inner Indian. <laughs> oh dear! Um, Thank you. Wipe again. Um, <laughs> oh, they don't wipe. It, it's literally just. Pure nimbyism, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. Well, it, hell, it, it's not really even technically nimbyism. It's not in the backyard that I moved to after I knew that this was here. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so, so, you're right. Uh, even, even... I moved into a backyard and I wasn't really happy with what I moved into. What an idiot. Yeah. People also reported hearing the music nearly 15 miles away in Heeg, 12 miles away in Hilton, and 10 miles away in Mackworth. Yeah, no shit, it's called a rock concert, fuck wits. Yeah. <laughs> but, so even the BBC says, but responses to this were mostly unsympathetic, with one saying, imagine living close by to a racetrack in an airport, but crying into your cereal about a bit of music. And the, the, those complaining were given little sympathy on Twitter. Twi yeah, Twitter, fuck it, why not? Oh, God, fucking... Yeah, they got no say? sympathy from me either. Yeah. Face tape says, he has to take a poo? <laughs> oh. Yeah. One of them actually tried. <laughs> one of them, I don't know what it was about my original tweet that made him think he was going to get sympathy in my replies. Yeah. But uh, he didn't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we're, 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 we'll come to that one. <laughs> Sorry, but before we get to, to Disco, <laughs> his tweet. So yeah, one guy's like, once a year, if they don't like it, go and stay with a friend or relative for a few nights. It's not like it's kept secret or anything. You can easily plan ahead to avoid this weekend. 
Uh, someone else says, yes, you could hear it, but it's hard the ear splitting. Some people just love complaining. And someone else says it's once a year, stop moaning. And then this absolutely rabid woman says, it's been there yearly for decades, miserable cunts. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. there was something about that initial tweet that that made somebody think that they were going to get some sympathy. Yeah. So this inbred dipshit says, "Yeah, decades of uh, trash, insufferable noise, ruining people's days and nights. We lived twenty miles away, and I'd had a pounding fucking headache for two days." This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. A few days, and you'll be back to hearing the planes and races clearly. Poor thing. Tiny violin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just put some fucking earplugs in. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure oh, everyone. Well, I need hey, I'm sure everyone listening ne next to this insufferable twat. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure everyone who puts hears that insufferable twat has a pounding headache as well. You know, <laughs> from having to deal with fucking Karen. <laughs> you, you know, he probably only gets a pounding headache for two days because people are enjoying themselves and he can't stand it. Oh, probably. How dare oh, they have that's fun? It. Wait, I'm sorry. Don't move next to an airport track and a festival ground <laughs> if you're that sensitive to noise. Like, you've made some poor life choices, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so let's tell you. <laughs> oh, I, I know what to tell him. It starts with fuck and ends with off. Also, 20 miles away and he can still hear the damn thing. Well, yeah, because he's standing on his Good porch acoustic. with grandma's horn in her ear. What's that big noise in the background? What's that? Is that I, fun I hear? I can't hear myself complain. I wish I lived close enough to download to get the festival for free. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You know, if, if they were smart, they would rent out their guest room to, to you know, somebody who, you know, not necessarily a scumbag uh, concert goer, but, you know, like somebody. It's like, here you go. Free concert. Just, you know, Hundred quid a, a night, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I forgot they're not capitalists. <laughs> oh, dear. No, they're all call me scum. Ten, ten miles. Uh, yeah, ten <laughs> miles is nearly the distance between Derby and Leicester. For the record, twenty miles away would put me on in the ocean, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> oh yeah, it was twenty miles. It was twenty fucking miles. Jesus, it's like. Yeah. Holy Isn't fuck! That that's, that's... the Earth territory, like. <laughs> oh my god! If you actually look that yeah. up on an actual map, uh, you know the draw a circle thing. I put a draw. I put a circle around Donington Park. He could be anywhere in Leicester, in in Nottingham, in Derby, or Burton upon Trent, or any of those places, and be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I can hear it." He could be on the outskirts of Birmingham and be like, "Oh, it's hurting my head." <laughs> what a whiny fucking loser! I, I heard people were having fun, and it's really affected me. I don't think people realize how far away 20 miles is. And no, that, they that's, don't. That's a 20-mile circle from the actual center point where the festival is. If he's 20 miles away, that could be anywhere within a 40-mile radius yeah. of where it was. So how can someone who I'm pretends to be based but have such a shit take? <laughs> Just a loser sharing a picture in live shows of everywhere that is within 20 miles of a very road. based quote about the middle of the page there uh here we go anything everything within 20 miles of this fucking festival oh so we're going from fucking rotherham to birmingham uh, Though that's a 40 mile radius around uh, where the actual location is so he could literally be the other side of birmingham and they're like i can hit download you fucking liar. Mm -hmm. He's fucking liar. He's just fucking pathetic. It, it, it's, his, it's his problem that the roving gangs of rapists can't hear the girls screaming over the concert. Because <clears throat> it's fucking Rotherham and Birmingham on this fucking map. Uh, uh, <sighs> idiot. Absolute loser. If you enjoyed this segment from the Sons of Chardelet podcast, please consider joining us live exclusively on rumble.com slash C slash Sons of Chardelet. A special thanks to our subscribe star supporters who you can currently see scrolling past on your screen.